Hi, it's Kirby Summers, and today is June 19th. It's Wednesday, middle of the week, hump day. Anyway, um, I want to bring you guys up to date with the work that I've been doing on various fronts, and uh, to thank those of you who take time out to like the podcast. You know, I really appreciate it. It just shows how sort of like aligned we all are to getting the truth out, despite the fact that we are facing tremendous amount of pushback. So um, what I want to begin with is that uh, while I have been deep diving on several fronts, and as you know, I've been working on a lot of threads uh, regarding Jeffrey Epstein since his arrest, July 6, 2019, which in another three weeks, it'll be five years. Crazy, it's been five years. One of my um, most read series that I've researched with information that's never been published anywhere before is my deep dive into Leslie Wexner. I, you know, I've got the first 14 parts up there and I only, interrupted it because I wanted to sort of mix it up. Not everyone is into all of the nooks and crannies of Leslie Wexner, who I want to remind you, not only provided Jeffrey Epstein with the largest mansion in New York that was already equipped with surveillance equipment and bulletproof windows, And no, mainstream media has never told you about the bulletproof windows, but I am telling you. But he gave him a lot of other real estate in addition to supplying him with the 727 that we all now know as the L Express. And then I, you know, I had been compiling information on David Boys and I started a series on boys because. There's a lot that most people have no idea uh, about David Boies. And so there's information that I started there. And then, of course, Dr. Henry Jarecki, the German MK Ultra psychiatrist, who is the latest Epstein associate to be slapped with a lawsuit, a civil lawsuit, not a criminal lawsuit, not a federal lawsuit, but another civil case by a woman who alleges she was trafficked by Epstein first and then later by Jarecki, who decided to keep her for himself. And that's what she said in her lawsuit. So I um, I put up part one of the Jarecki family because, oh my God, what I've been able to find is Some of the comments have been really intriguing. I think that that one article received the most comments of any of my articles to date. And then yesterday, I could not help myself but to add additional information that's unknown about Bill Gates and Bill Gates' father and connections to CP. And CA, I I hope that you're following those initials. And um, other things that uh, are connected to the intelligence apparatus that many people don't know about. So I put that up as a bonus to those of you who subscribe to my newsletter. And so, you know, while going back into my notes and looking at information that I've come across, regarding the Jareckis and Bill Gates and again, Leslie Wexner and Jeffrey Epstein and sort of like photos of Glenn Maxwell in the past. I I came across additional stuff that definitely contradicts a lot of what Elon Musk has said. And I have received. So if you guys remember 
as soon as Elon Musk purchased Twitter, which he now renamed as X, I was booted off the platform. He immediately allowed Donald Trump back on. And on the same day, my main account on Twitter disappeared. I had tons of threads. I have tons of information and, and people were using that as the basis for their research. That's how good my original account was. But Musk made it disappear. And so I've always been very suspicious, clearly, about Musk, you know, not just because he was photographed with Ghislaine Maxwell, but because he, like a lot of the other people who have been connected to Epstein, have downplayed their role. Well, I have information that I'm going to be sharing on Sunday about Musk. I cannot really discuss this on X clearly. But I am letting you know here that on Sunday, I'm going to just put the info that I discovered about Musk. And then you can see for yourself how deep this goes. Because I, again, receipts. But I also want to tell everyone who's been loving my Leslie Wexner series, you know, I've got a couple of those that are coming up. You know, there are several parts where we're going to be going into part 15. And then regarding the Jarecki series, <laughs> it's really funny because already uh, some people are saying, oh, my God, this Jarecki information that you've shared, because it includes people like Courtney Love going out with Nicholas Jarecki and Love is has two genders. She was born with two genders. And again, I have receipts. I have photographs. Incre like I have a stash of stuff that I was able to find only because I'm like doing this 24 seven. You know, it's like, it's, 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 these are these threads that I can't let go of. I can't let go of these threads because they're, they kind of, once you look at them together, you'll see a much broader picture than the one that mainstream has portrayed. You know, I've always said, not only is this multi-generational, but it crosses many platforms. But I wanted to just sort of like let you know, I'll be getting back to Jarecki. Jarecki part two is, is going to blow your mind even more than part one. And you guys have loved part one. But I want to just give you uh, a closer look at Elon Musk's relationship with the Epstein people because he, like Leon Black, like Leslie Wexner, like Donald Trump, like almost everyone, including Prince Andrew, has downplayed their relationship. Now, we don't, while we only have one photograph of Musk with Ghislaine Maxwell, where, oh, he was photobombed. Well, I'm really sorry to disappoint those of you who basically fell for that. I mean, and there's other stuff that people have shared before, like, yes, Epstein fixed up his brother Kimbo with a girl. Okay, that's been in mainstream. But what's not in mainstream is what I'm going to share with you. Stuff that you have not read before, stuff that you haven't even thought about before. That's what I'm going to be sharing this Sunday. So if you haven't subscribed, just go on over to my Substack. That's really where my very deep dives and my truth bombs explode. They explode. The, and the way I see it is they explode like fireworks. Anyway, this is just an update. I want to thank those of you who joined my Patreon and are there and busy sharing information. And those of you who have decided to jump over the fence and join me on Substack, um, I usually will post. I've got, I think, well over 100 full YouTube videos here for your consumption and for your 
research purposes and or just to um for you to like see the stuff that I can share here uh but again you know I just have to circle back and say the musk information is going to perhaps be disappointing to those of you who like him I don't clearly I don't like him I have a personal beef against him because of the way he handles his platform because not only did he come onto X and kind of disrupt many things, including getting rid of me, but like almost everything has been filtered. So if you don't pay the $8 or so to become a, a what, to have the blue star or whatever it is you call it, your tweets are suppressed. But there's even more suppression. Now, recently, he suppressed the ability to see people's like history. So that is becoming increasingly more, you know, there, there is no freedom of speech, despite the fact that when he came on board, he was like, oh, freedom of speech. That was a lie. You know, I think we have to come to a sort of uh, to to understand that these people the one percenters the elite of the elite and musk is the you know part of the elite of the elite they're going to lie that's that's what they do that's all they know how to do um in any event i hope to see you guys on sunday on my substack so that you can understand what Musk is truly about. If you have any comments, I'd love to hear them. All right, guys, have a good day. Bye.